Ever have that moment when you're flying on an airplane and suddenly you encounter some turbulence and your face turns pale with fear? Flying may be perceived as a death trap for many, but thankfully, if you look at the scientific evidence, you'll see that it's not as scary as you may think. Yeah, cars seem safer since they're still on the ground versus 30,000 feet up in the air. But did you know that cars are 1,800 times more deadly? Pilots must have over 1,500 hours of flying experience before being accepted into any major airline, while any average person with just a few hours can obtain a driver's license. What scares most people when they are flying is turbulence, which happens when a plane flies through thick clouds or an air pocket. Although turbulence may seem like it's about to bring the plane down, there's only been a few incidents where bad weather has caused commercial airlines to crash. Every year, only about 60 people are hurt by turbulence in the U.S., and that is not counting in the factor whether they had their seatbelts on or not. When you take into account that the majority of these are crew members, it shows that only 20 people with seatbelts have been hurt by turbulence, all out of the 8 million people that fly annually. It is also important to say that there is such thing called passenger embellishment factor, established by commercial pilot and author Patrick Smith. This idea basically proves that passengers are prone to exaggerating sensations in flight, such as saying, we dropped 100 feet in seconds, when the plane just dropped a mere 20 feet. This may be because of the effect that adrenaline has on memory formation, as well as the fact that the brain is bad at estimating under pressure, which is why eyewitness testimonies are often wrong. Thankfully, airplanes are specially designed to withstand such extreme weather events. In fact, they can sustain double the force of gravity. Airplanes are specially designed with lightning strikes, bird strikes, and even engine failures in mind. An airplane will be able to fly with one of its engines damaged. And if it is at least 35,000 feet up in the air, it can successfully glide for about half an hour before landing without any of its engines. An airplane needs four different forces known as drag, lift, gravity, and thrust in order to successfully fly. The weight of the plane is counteracted by lift, which is basically produced thanks to the wings and its motion when flying. The engines are what produce thrust to help it move forward, while drag helps slow the plane down. It is normal for a passenger to feel distressed when a plane encounters turbulence, whether that lasts for an entire flight or just a few seconds. Are you guys personally terrified of flying? Drop your responses in the comments below and share your experience. See you!